the PlayStation 2 is a kind of rare system, only selling about 155 million systems. The PS2 was released in early 2000 and completely took the spotlight, leaving Sega, Nintendo, and Microsoft with their new system, the Xbox, in the dust, with all of those systems not even hitting 30 million copies. Why though? Why did the thing sell so stinking well? I honestly think a big part of it was the ability to play DVDs. It was a very affordable console slash DVD player at $299, and it received the price drop to $199 in 2002, and the cheapest DVD player being around $200 to $400, and the high-end ones being $1,000 and up. You would be able to trick your partner or parents into getting you this. This was a cool thing because I could watch all my favorite media, like iCarly Season 1, Volume 1, iCarly Season 2, Volume 1, iCarly Season 3, Volume 2, iCarly... Another big part of this thing was the backwards compatibility, with all PS1 games being playable on it, which for many people made it a no-brainer upgrade. So, let's talk about having this thing nowadays. Which means, let's take a look at the system, and then it's games, which is, to me, the most important thing, and it should be to everyone, about a console. The original PS2 was a big boy, but who cares? You've got the skinny one, and this one's just skinny and beautiful. That's enough about me. Let's talk about you. Brother, no, it's not what it looks like. I thought you died. Does that give you the right to flirt with my wife? Please, don't fight me. I cannot. You are the kill of my heart. Oh, I'm sorry, she means nothing to me compared to you. It is too late. You should have thought of that before. Oh, that I am doing this because of you and no other reason. <laughs> this is because of you. This 2 had a lot more great exclusives than I thought it had because the PS1, looking back on it, was mostly held up by the third party support. But the PS2, the PS2 had Shadow of Colossus, which for the time was a beautiful game. And God of War, which still, in my opinion, looks really good. And Ratchet and Clank, which is a platformer, on my, in my opinion, that is close to Mario in its greatness. And Twisted Metal, which I I really like Twisted Metal. It's a very unique IP and I wish they would do more with it. It's pretty clear why the PlayStation 2 did so well. With a great price and great first party support and the ability to watch DVDs, it was a shoe in for most people. So I would um say buy this. They're usually very cheap on eBay. I've seen them for around $20 and you can find them at thrift stores. I find I've found so many at thrift stores, like a ridiculous amount. Just make sure they work before you leave, because I bought a lot of broken ones. But with that, I bid you adieu. You can also eat off of it. Just saying. Isaac Sullivan is a man who started a YouTube channel. He started a YouTube channel in the year 2020 because he had free time. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so great. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so great. Through the years he will be there helping you have a good day. Always trying to entertain.